Welcome to another video. This is your Tactical Power Pro, and we're back once again working on a Ryobi 2300 inverter. In this case, the generator starts without any issues, but it's not producing any power. As soon as you look at the screen, you will see an overload warning. Okay, so let's give it a start so you guys can see what I'm talking about. This thing sounds exactly like my brother's Civic. Brother, uh. An overload fault on an inverter generator means that the generator is trying to supply more power than it is designed to handle. This can happen when too many appliances or devices are connected to the generator, drawing more electrical current that the generator can produce safely. When this happens, the generator's protection system kicks in and shuts down or limits its output to prevent damage to both the generator and the connected equipment. So how do we fix this overload fault? Easy, just press the overload reset button. Thank you for watching the video. <laughs> nah, you guys wouldn't be watching this video if it was that easy, huh? Let's go ahead and start pulling this generator apart so we can identify the real issue. To remove the control panel, you gotta remove six screws. Once the panel is undone, just slide it forward and you wanna get access to the back of it where we can find the inverter module, which is this right here. All we gotta do now is remove every connection between the panel and the inverter module. Okay, so before we proceed, you will notice there a red wire and a white wire connected to two red wires. This can be confusing. You won't know which one will be your neutral and your hot. What I do is I put tape on the white wire and then also tape to the red wire connected to the white wire. By doing that, I will be able to identify later on where to connect the white wire. So there are two bolts holding in place the inverter module. I already took one. Let's take out the other one. This step is very important. So if you fail, you might cause permanent damage on your generator. So when you're removing this bolt, make sure you don't drop it. Oh, never mind. I dropped that shit. Okay. <laughs> I'm just playing. Generator will be fine. We can find that bolt later on. To completely remove the inverter module, it can be a pain in the butt, especially because I'm doing it the lazy way. It will be better if you can remove the entire generator uh, housing, but that's a lot of bolts to take out. So I'm just trying to remove it through the front. So it's up to you if you want to remove the entire generator housing or you want to keep following the video and pull the inverter module out this way. This back connection gave me a little bit of trouble because my big banana hands won't fit back here. But with some perseverance, you'll be able to pull it out as well. Finally, remove the ground connection and we'll be able to pull the entire inverter module out. 
Damn, I dropped another bowl. Motherfucker. All right, so we finally got the inverted module out. And ladies and gentlemen, we got them. This right here is your issue. The inverter module is the key component that rectifies the alternate current, the AC, produced by the general alternator into a stable DC, then converts that DC into alternate current, which is the one we use in our equipment for power output, making it ideal for sensitive equipment devices like laptops, smartphones, and other gadgets. While doing a visual inspection of the inverter module, I couldn't see a bulge capacitor, nothing was burned. It's just the inverter module just gave up. It's an electronic and they tend to fail quite a bit. All right, so let's go ahead and grab the new inverter module. Thanks to this technology, the inverter generators are quieter, more fuel efficient, and capable of adjusting engine speed based on low demand compared to conventional generators. So here we have the damaged inverter module next to the new inverter module. And thanks to the tape I put on that wire earlier, now I know that the left wire is the one that goes connected to the white wire. But now you might be thinking on um, how or why does an inverter module fail? And believe it or not, an inverter module can fail for several reasons, often due to environmental conditions, operational issues, or component degradation. Overheating, overloading, voltage spikes and surges, moisture and corrosion, physical damage, component wear and aging, manufacturing defects, improper maintenance, those are some of the things that can affect and damage your inverter module. Now that you guys know a little bit more about what is a inverter module and what does it do, let's continue installing the new inverter module back because I ain't trying to make a 20 minute video. So let's fast forward these clips. Quick tip, if you remove the pull start cover and the fuel valve, you'll be able to access that bottom plug. It was a bitch to get in, but if you get through here, it will be way easier. Also, this connector right here is going to give you a lot of trouble as well. Good luck and let me know down in the comments if you had any issue with any connection. Now that the new module is in place, I'm going to just attach one screw on the panel for some testing. Also, don't forget to tie back the ground cable. Now let's go ahead and give it a start. We can hear the engine running smoother than earlier. That already tells me that the inverter module is doing its job. And there you go, no overload fault, the generator is producing power. Let's do a quick load test and see how the generator reacts to some load.
now that I made sure that everything is working great, I'm going to go ahead and pull everything back together and start another load test. With this 1500 watt space heater, I can run this generator at 80% of its capability, so let's put it into test. Don't forget to interact with the video, like, subscribe, comment, and if any of you is interested in this beat up, broken inverter module, I got plenty of them. I can mail them your way if you're interested. Like, yeah, they they break a lot. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. See you guys in the next one. Peace.